Okay, so uh, this is going to be Taurus and Moon and as well a uh, rising weekly general tarot reading March 9th to uh, March 15th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from where you can purchase such. So moving uh, to the reading straight away, the first card here, which stands for the topic of your week, uh, Taurus is going to be the King of Cups. Moving next, it is the energies that are feeding up the situation. That is to be uh, the Five of Wands. Then it is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Nine of Wands. Then it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy, which is the Eight of Wands. Furthermore, we do have um, how people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the Six of Pentacles. And the final one here, which is very, very important, uh, that is to be the Devil. And it is the guidance that Tara is offering. So this is going to be a short one because it's a uh, pretty narrow nar nar narration for what I can say. Uh, first couple of cards here are showing that uh, somebody is going to see the uniqueness in you. It's like a uh, the differences that actually worth exploring, okay? And that will lead to a either a, a very good offer that you're going to have for a business, for a work, or for a, a relationship even to get to get along with someone. Or a, um, uh, that person, which is the King of Cups, is going to help you with your things that you're trying to do, which nobody else wants to help you because they see how different you are and they cannot understand your, your uniqueness. So that will be the topic of your week, Taurus. That's um, it's pretty much uh, the accurate value of you as an individual, of your uh, efforts, for example, or of your love will be placed and uh, that person steps forward and kind of a cooperation is going to take place that is only however if you want it okay so the energies are kind of uh, displaying that that will happen very surprisingly it's like um, that most likely you don't know that person yet so that will be someone completely new that you're going to meet throughout the week uh, which you are going to open yourself to and uh, they will say, hmm, interesting. It, it, it's kind of like uh, we're keeping in touch, you know, and it's, it's worth kind of like exploring each other. Um, I will try to explain that with an example of myself, say, that every time when I kind of meet someone and I introduce myself and I say what I am doing, most of the time people think that I'm crazy because I'm doing tarot cards, right? So it, it's very... It, I cannot say unique profession, but it is different profession than what people think it is profession. And at some points, uh, you know, kind of like a some people among those that are facing my profession with skepticism and not even skepticism, but let's say mockery. Uh, some are actually finding it very interesting and they are willing to explore it, willing to help me with certain things. So it's like your your unique traits are to be seen as a um, as a good thing rather than as a differences that are creating certain gaps into friendships into relationships or into a career performance as well now what is important to know about this person itself is that they are very um, well the king of cups they are very professional individuals okay they don't like shenanigans they don't like as well bs uh, to happen around so you need to be pretty straightforward with them if you want that cooperation of either relationship of either a business proposition or a helping hand to to place in there you don't want to baffle them you don't want to be um looked as a someone who does not know what they want in general because the king of cups they are uh capable or they always are uh, able to place a well-found decisions and, uh, and balanced actions as well. What I'm trying to say here, it is that they step out and are willing to either offer you something or to help you with something 
not because of a they they feel commiseration they have commiseration towards you or they kind of feel pity of you and they kind of um, are doing it from the goodness of their heart they're doing it because they see that it's it's worth it okay and another example of it it is um, given in a show that I watched recently where um, it's, it refers to investment that uh, an investor did not believe that that can happen and basically threw the person away and 10 years later you know exactly what that person said or was proposing was making billions of dollars and that investor could have uh, is wishing to turn back the time so these people they see po potential in you that person sees potential in you once again as a lover as a, a business partner as a uh, valuable asset into their company and they will approach you once again because they see how different you are but those differences are actually making you special for their uh, for their environment so moving next is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome and that is um, going to be the nine of wands. So there is only one way how we can look at the nine of wands here. And that is where you have to arm yourself with rather patience. And what is the other word? Um, a yielding standpoint, I would say, uh, for uh, a yielding standpoint where you don't get discouraged that the things are not moving very fast because the things aren't going to move very fast having those first couple of cards because um, once again the king of cups it does require a balanced foundation and until that foundation is built uh, then um, not much things are to be accomplished in between you two if I have to again give you an example even if that person shows intimate interest in you they will prefer to date for a, a rather prolonged period of time just so they can get you know better instead of jumping straight away into a deep commitment but with the nine of wands challenging for you is going to be also aligning because it will the, the whole situation will require some adaptation from your part and under adaptation i mean a conscious changes that you will have to make in order to align better with uh, the expect not expectations but the um, capabilities of this king of cups and another thing especially for those which are uh, which are uh, single here with the nine of wands um, in thought tarot which is the tarot of Alistair Crowley nine of wands is represented by the bond in between the the different aspects of the sun and the moon in there uh, in the card meaning in between the man and the woman so uh, that will be challenging for you to accomplish that bond in case you are looking for a boyfriend or for a girlfriend as well and it will be challenging because once again you need to be patient with it and because once again you need to be able to exert some conscious conscious changes in it like changing a little bit um, your behavior you like changing a little bit your routine as well so you have more time to spend in between uh with with each other and etc etc so what will be the gifts and the blessings for you uh that will be the eight of uh wands well, not much to be said about this card either. It's just a card pointing that you are to have many openings. It's the Eight of Wands. It is the card where opportunities comes and go one after another constantly, but you get the luxury to decide which one you are going to invest in. Meaning that with this person, you are going to be the boss what kind of enterprises you both are going to be involved in at least throughout this week so hopefully you face all these openings and all these opportunities with a clear-headed mind because uh, you don't want to disappoint this uh, king of cups at all and another thing about the eight of uh, about the eight of wands it is about the flow what i mean it is once again opportunities are going to come and go but not all of them are meant for you and while that card falls into the gifts and the blessings meaning that you are rather deprived from taking big risks i mean you can get away with stuff okay still that can uh, that can undermine the initial impression which is going to be fantastic by the king of cups moving next it will be what kind of impression people are gonna have uh, towards you well unfortunately not very good one with the six of pentacles they will think that you do not deserve the attention of uh, the king of cups 
and how much they wrong they are uh, they are in a in a mistake here how wrong they are they have no clue whatsoever so basically how people seeing you it is that someone is um, spewing you with charity that you pretty much do not deserve okay no different than being in a social circle where you do have that center of the social circle this uh, handsome man or that handsome woman someone new comes into the social circle and instead of attract being attracted to that handsome man or handsome woman they get attracted to you the average person and they just don't understand why okay they just they are jealous not jealous envy because jealousy is another thing. Jealousy is when they are jealous about the boyfriend they have or a girlfriend, and that boyfriend or a girlfriend kind of like they're afraid that they're going to lose it to you. Envy is the, is when they want something that you do have, and that is the attention of the King of Cups. Therefore, you are going to face a lot of envy throughout this week. Just don't pay attention to it, guys. People sometimes are going to kind of decimate themselves with hatred and they're gonna choke on it and hopefully they learn their lesson the hard way you know i, I don't know what else to say here but uh, nonetheless um, even if you face some mental cruelty in a sense of that people are trying to undermine your confidence uh, when you tackle or not tackle but when you um, go through um, experiences with the king of cups don't allow that to happen just have a high opinion of yourself because you do deserve it yes you are different but these differences are making you unique and not someone that is less than them and the last one it is the guidance here which is the devil card and that is one more com confirmation that you get to decide how to spend the time throughout the week. Because the devil gives you the power to alter outcomes. It gives you the power to pretty much force a circumstances. Not force, but to create, let's say. And uh, guidance-wise, the card points that you have to use them wisely in a sense of that they need to have a, a productive outlook at the end of the day. The devil, the, the, the power of the devil should not be used for revenge, retribution, you know, or a, a screwing around with people. It should be uh, directed purely toward your yearnings of soul, meaning that if your yearning is to be loved, you should direct those, uh, this impulses, this tremendous, uh, that tremendous power toward being loved instead of um, kind of like uh, creating predicaments for other for others to experience a uh, a love but ultimately the devil points once again guys that you can satiate the hungers of your soul and you should do that regardless of what everybody around thinks or tells you about so that being said this was uh, your weekly general tarot reading taurus hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys it does look like an amazing week it is in front of you and uh, once again if you are interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and there you are going to find a link to my website from which you can uh, decide which uh, variation of a reading suits you best. And upon purchase, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours, telling you how the reading is going to take place. Hopefully, we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.